Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have once again started finalizing the next optional bug fix C release updates for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, and that's version 21H2 for both operating systems. And this latest C release update um, was made available to uh, the insiders in the release preview channel to undergo final testing before they roll that those updates out uh, uh, over the next coming days. Now for Windows 10 version 21H2, that will be the update KB5018482, which will take the build to 19044.2192. And for Windows 11 21H2, that will be KB5018483. And that will take that build to 22,000.1163. Now, the C release updates um, normally roll out in the third week and should roll out in the third week of every month. That's what the C stands for. And um, I haven't found this to be the case, though, in most um, instances. So we can expect the update to roll out shortly. In my region today, we can see we're on the 19th. So I would suggest that both these optional updates for both Windows 10 and 11 21H2 will be made available sometime next week. Now, um, if we just have a quick look at the release notes for Windows 10 21H2, not much to report on and write home about so to speak, just a couple of bug fixes, no new features or major improvements. For Windows 11, it's a little bit of a different story. There are two new improvements, and um, they've added improvements to Windows search results and performance, and then um, they've added Task Manager to the context menu when you right-click the taskbar. So that's also coming to version 21H2 with the next optional update, and um, that should have also rolled out for Windows 11 version 22H2 recently in the moment one update as I did post on earlier today where if you right click on the taskbar you see the task manager setting as part of the right click context menu but that's still not available yet for version 22H2 um, but I do see they say this feature rolls out in the coming weeks so maybe that applies to both Windows 11 version 21H2 and also 22H2 but nonetheless a nice improvement there. And then just to have a quick look at some of the bug fixes if you are interested. Um, for both Windows 10 and 11, they fixed an issue that causes an OS upgrade to stop responding and then it fails. For Windows 11, they fixed an issue that affects a task you schedule to run every two weeks. Um, for both Windows 10 and 11, they've addressed um, Microsoft Direct 3D9 gaming issues and graphics issues. And that applies to both um, Windows 10 and 11. Um, for Windows 11, they fixed an issue that affects a universal printer. You cannot reinstall it after you remove it. That will be addressed. Uh, for both operating systems, they fixed an issue that affects some drivers. They use more power when you play hardware protected digital rights management DRM content. And then the final two, which apply just to Windows 11, they fixed an issue that affects driver installation on certain hardware. And the last one is there was an issue that affects the ClipChamp application that it that is in the Windows 11 SE edition and it wouldn't um, run. So the SE edition is the student edition of Windows 11. So that's just a couple of key highlights that we can expect to see roll out, um, I would say any day soon now, um, near the end of this month, October, for both Windows 10 and 11 version 21H2. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.